when I hired him in 2015, um, I, I gave him actually, I showered him with opportunities. I gave him uh, the highest title, the joint highest title in my group. Uh, this is all public knowledge. Uh, he was hired as a principal engineer. Um, and then uh, gave him essentially millions of dollars in compensation to join my company. Um, we gave him several leadership opportunities to succeed. A year later, he filed a case of caste discrimination saying that he did not get the head of engineering position. And then from December of 2016 to um, essentially Jan of 2018, um, uh, or mid-March of 2018, when I was around in the group, he filed a series of complaints, not just against me, but other supervisors, managers, and so on. Uh, but that formed the genesis of his rights, uh, which he then went to the state uh, the state here being the Civil Rights Department, also known as the CRD, and they then filed a lawsuit against us in June of 2020, uh, stating that John Doe was discriminated uh, because of his past, he was retaliated against, and he was harassed because of his past. So there are three individual claims that were made against Cisco as a company, and the harassment charges were uh, against us as individuals. We said, John Doe has never applied for the job. We had an open head of engineering position. How do you sue us for a position that he's never applied for? And he's very well aware of it. It's an open position for more than three months. Next, I mean, they couldn't care less. Next, we told them that John Doe, and this is in public records, John Doe has never shown an interest in the job, right? You've got a year of stuff happening before the decision about who becomes the head of engineering is made. And you have to have a pattern and record to want that leadership position. And Cisco's own court, court documents show that, that he's never shown an interest in a management position. Now, besides these two, uh, we asked them, so why are you suing us? They said, well, John Doe is a Dalit, and I am a Brahmin, and so you didn't give him the position because of caste, right? So let's peel that a minute and then I'll come to your, to your personal question. So we said, if you are suing us because I was bigoted against Dalits and, and I knew he was Dalit, let's say, that's your allegation. Well, then why did I hire him in the first place? Right? I could have gone and hired a ton of engineers from Silicon Valley. Why did I have to go and hire him in the first place? Next, we also pointed out something very critical that was hidden hidden by the CRD in their lawsuit. We said that the position, the head of engineering position, was awarded to another senior colleague of mine who also self-identified as a well. We said, you've got to be insane to sue us for Dalit discrimination for a position that has gone to a Dalit. You know, I had a senior Dalit colleague in my team. The guy was brilliant hired him too. I've co-founded companies with him. And in fact, it was not just this position that went to a talent. All of my leadership positions in my Cisco startup, recall that I was the CEO of this startup, every leadership position, all three of them were first offered to or accepted by this other senior Dalit colleague of mine. As of now, the case has been dropped on Ramana and me as an individual. CRD is still suing Cisco. To give you some backstory on that, um, in January of 2023, we got so sick of the CRD that we filed a motion to sanction the CRD. Right, this is a public motion, you'll see. So sanction basically, so our sanctions motion, so uh, our sanctions motion basically says that the attorneys have done something which has no legal or factual basis. What they've done is essentially unethical doesn't meet the standards of what a plaintiff lawyer should be doing. And you want the judge to put it on their record that they have been sanctioned. There's also a small uh, money penalty of $10,000, which you know, the CRD couldn't care less. They're using our taxpayer money. But it comes as uh, a record on the attendance. What you see in the sanctions motion is the bottom of four bad things that an agency can do, right? You have at the 
uh, bottom most level what is called you're filing a request uh, you're filing a claim which has no legal or factual basis worse than that is you're doing something that's grossly negligent even worse than that is a standard which says you did something with a reckless indifference of truth and even worse than that is essentially you committed perjury and subversion of perjury right there are four different ones i can tell you in all um you know honesty from every fact i know and that i know that the crd knows that they you know dipped into all four puddings if you will so this is the state of california <laughs> so we filed a motion to sanction they dropped the lawsuit in april of 2023 john doe this is public record made millions of dollars in compensation and they sued cisco and accused me of a salary discrimination claim that john doe didn't get a few thousands of dollars how does a state prosecutor file charges on a ceo who has given away all of his equity who has arguably i mean made millions of dollars less than john doe in his own startup that's my comp i took millions of dollars less so he could take millions of dollars more and sue me they wouldn't care less if governor newsom is listening if the attorney general of california is listening you better know this rob bonta you better know this uh, governor newsom this is your crd right until today when i say they couldn't care less these this information has been presented several times in court till today they want to sue cisco and still want more money for john doe right that's your crd if the state treats its entrepreneurs treats its managers treats its co-workers treats its hindu and indian americans and for that matter any californian in the absolute garbage way that they do with a reckless disregard for the truth no meaningful citizen who wants to build well will ever want to stay in the state of california and that's already happening we have 75 companies leaving california if you can't represent the truth you will eventually fail but the smart people and the good people leave much earlier they don't have to wait for that day so that's california for you in a nutshell